Livingston County Judge Teresa Brennan is in the hot seat trying to save her job. She took the witness stand in a misconduct hearing before the Judicial Tenure Commission amid serious new allegations. Seven investigator Jim Kirchner is live in our newsroom right now with the judge's emotional testimony today. Jim? Carolyn, these brand new allegations are even more serious, destroying evidence and obstruction of justice. Plus, this judge is accused of failing to follow basic ethics by not disqualifying herself from cases in which she's been personally involved, a murder case and her own divorce case. Reasons why are not clear. Judge, did you lie under oath as he's questioning you on the witness stand? Judge Teresa Brennan is off the bench and on a paid leave while she fights against the Judicial Tenure Commission. The most serious allegation that she had an affair with State Police Detective Sean Furlong, who was the lead investigator in the murder case that convicted Jerome Kowalski. The trial was before Judge Brennan. It came up only briefly on this first day. It was a social relationship. The judge had been separated from her husband for three years when he filed for divorce in December of 2016. The case was assigned to her, and according to the JTC, she didn't disqualify herself for six days, even when it was brought to her by other court personnel. The judge presiding over this case pressed for answers. Why you didn't sign it when she brought it to you? It was stupid. I just should have signed it. Well, stupid or not, do you... Do you do you, do you I have no your memory. motivation was for not signing it? There, there is no motivation. There was no motivation. I was not acting in a rational manner. The son of the man convicted of murder is at the hearing. I do not believe her tears. Why not? Uh, because I feel like I've seen how she condu conducted herself in court. I was a basket case, and that's an understatement. The examiner for the Judicial Tenure Commission played this video from Judge Brennan's court on the same day she said she was distraught, showing her business as usual. I don't look distraught there, but that doesn't mean I wasn't. Now, state police have been investigating this judge for more than a year and just recently turned over cell phone records, computer records, and witness statements to the JTC. The defense for the attorney, defense attorney for Judge Brennan, says they're going to need time to go through all of this. So this hearing will run as long as about two weeks, but then also continue in November. Bottom line is this could end the career of Judge Teresa Brennan. Live in the newsroom, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. And Jim, we'll know you'll stay on top of this case and let us know how it turns out. Thanks for that live report.